Hey everybody that's on Emma's new snap and covering for her, guess what? These videos are satiric reviews. You don't have to agree, but don't bitch about it. Hey there, I'm Social Injustice Warrior V Infuso, and welcome to How to Ruin Your Child's Life in One Easy Step. This woman, clearly of high intellect and class, was snooping through her kid's phone. Which is always a great idea when parenting. I mean, what better way to show your child that you can't trust anyone, including family, and that they're not entitled to privacy? Good on you, Brenda. Good on you. Well, instead of confronting her kid about all this, she instead decided to confront society through her daughter's Snapchat. Let's take a look. Hey everybody that's on Emma's new snap and covering for her, guess what? Mm -hmm. At 2.30 this morning I found Bailey in her fucking closet. So unless each of you motherfuckers want me to come after y'all and go to your parents and tell them the shit that y'all are doing, you better back the fuck off. Do you understand? Okay? My kid's not going down. She's not going to be found dead in a ditch. She's not going to be on fucking drugs like half of y'all are. I'm fucking over it. What in the name of single suburban soccer moms is going on here? Because your daughter has a Snapchat doesn't mean she's actively being sought out to be killed. It also doesn't mean that she's looking for a drug dealer. It probably just means that she's a self-assidal maniac who spends most of her days dodging any and all interaction with you for obvious reasons and takes pictures of her new outfits. Because she thinks someone gives a fuck. So if I have to go to school and call you out name by name, if I have to go wherever and call you out, I will. Okay? Because y'all taken her down long enough. Yeah, that's right, Karen. Snapchat is taking her down. The people of Snapchat are corrupting her with their snaps. You're one hell of a detective. Shithead Holmes, I think you've cracked another case. And I'm not saying it's only your fault. Oh no, Emma's responsible for her own decisions. But all you fuckers that let her add you on a new Snapchat and didn't come to me and tell me, yeah, I got your numbers, and you're next on my list of parents to call. I'm fucking over it. I'm over your little badasses trying to be fucking adults when you're only 16 fucking years old. And Bailey, just wait. Just wait. Can we all just take a second to appreciate that this is a grown woman threatening to walk into a school and start calling out kids? So if I have to go to school and call you out name by name, if I have to go wherever and call you out, I will. She's pissed off not only that her daughter has a Snapchat, but that her daughter's friends didn't tell her about it. But all you fuckers that let her add you on a new Snapchat and didn't come to me and tell me, yeah, I got your numbers. Yeah, I can't imagine why. I mean, you seem like such a uh, sound-minded, rational, and overall just zen-like individual. In the case of children and teenagers, they almost always stick with their own kind. They will more often than not side with their peers than inform parents. For the obvious reason that it's the people in their age group that they'll deal with on a daily basis. Not their parents. They're also not your friends. They're your daughter's friends. So of course they're, they're gonna back her. It's just, it's the way that it is. What the fuck is wrong with you dumb motherfuckers? I mean you all are the dumbest bitches I've ever met in my whole fucking life. I I don't understand this shit. You all think your pussies are lined with gold and you can just go out and do whatever the fuck you want to do? You're fucking crazy. I'm fucking over it. I'm over your little badasses trying to be fucking adults when you're only 16 fucking years old. This woman is out here talking about 16 year olds acting like grown ups and she's out here grown up acting like a 16 year old. She's huffing and puffing, calling out teenagers by name and essentially threatening them. Not to mention that she keeps touting I'm over it. Like it's her new catchphrase or something. I'm fucking over it. I'm fucking over it. I'm over your little badasses because I'm fucking over it. Because I'm over it. So I'm over it. I'm over it. Yeah, I'm going all ham on this bullshit because I'm over it. I am done. I'm done with your bullshit. Trademark it. Put it on a shirt. That shit is selling, Joanne. You go, girl. Savannah Daniel. Savannah, it's my understanding that you got Emma to buy some weed. If you got her to buy weed and smoked it with her, then you are fixing to be in big trouble because I'm fucking over it. And you also got drunk enough that you lost your phone in the toilet at Skylar's birthday party. That's the truth. Guess what your mom's finding out today? Better call her right now. Wait a second. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong here. And, and to be fair, I very may well be. But is this mom not complaining about her daughter's friends not telling her she had a Snapchat? 
Did she not just admit that she knew that one of her daughter's friends got drunk and had to help her fish out her phone from the toilet? Jeez, Angela. Why didn't you alert her parents? I mean, a teenage girl wasted seems a lot more important than your kid putting bunny ears on herself in a Snapchat filter. And now you're only going to tell her parents out of revenge and not for the well-being of that child. So I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it might be time to reevaluate some things. Because you're kind of coming off as a hypocrite. And a psychopath. But that's a different story. The 20 year old who's fucking my kid. She's 16! See now the 20 year old thing is a lot more understandable to get pissed off at. I wouldn't have kicked him out of the house though. And maybe it's just me. I I'd actually grab a baseball bat and made sure that he stayed in that house. Until the police showed up to either throw handcuffs on him. Or on me depending on how that situation turned out. Let me be clear, she has every right to be pissed off that James Ellsworth is spending the night at her place. Every right. She should be this infuriated. However, her approach to this situation thus far has been to only call out her daughter's friends, blame them for any and everything going on in her daughter's life, potentially alienating all who watch these videos from her daughter and putting her into social isolation, which I'm sure Kathy here thinks her daughter needs. but. No one needs to be isolated with this woman. Hey, Lindsay! Oh, hi, it's me again. You're not allowed to be around my fucking kid because you're fucking bad and I've already had a run-in with you. Guess what? Fixing to go to Heather with your bullshit too because I'm over it. I've seen where you've been texting her on her burner phone that her 20-year-old fucking boyfriend, man, so whatever you want to call him, that was at my house at 2.30 in the fucking morning, just found in her house, in her room. So I'm over it. That shit's fixing to end today too. Hi. Uh, you also keep on fucking putting my kid in really bad positions, so I'm coming for you too. Don't worry, I've already called the school, turn in your names, and I'm calling your parents tonight. I'm over it. And I'll be doing this with the help of, of Emma's dad. I know y'all don't think so, but we do come together at times like this, and this is one of those times. Um, because we're going to save our kids' life while all you other dumb motherfuckers keep on making bad decisions and end up dead in fucking ditches. I was at the Mardi Gras parade last last year with Amy this, this past March, and I'd like to tell y'all that there was a young girl there who her friends dumped her off, and she was puking and swallowing it and aspirating it back down, and her friends left her laying on the sand. Now, Emma's gone to get tested for an STD that Bailey probably gave her because he's also been fucking two other girls. Yeah, I'm going all ham on this bullshit because I'm over it. So, if she comes back with an STD, the entire city of Navarre should look out. Okay? Everybody that's covered for her and him, anybody that's had any knowledge that isn't texting my phone right now and telling me about it, you all better look out. I am done. I'm done with your bullshit. Your parents can do whatever and let you all keep on being fucking bad, but that's not where my kid's going to be. In fact, she's going to an all-girls home in Milton, so fuck each of you. Now, Bethany, let's recap and review here. You took your daughter's phone. You went to her Snapchat. You proceeded to tell her friends and peers that she locked herself in a closet. That she's been in a relationship with a 20-year-old man. You called out all her friends, some by name, and announced that she's getting tested for an STD. Do I hear mother of the year? Do you have any idea how damaging and soul-crushing this probably is for your child? I mean, think about it. She thinks that she has an STD. Her mind's probably doing jumping jacks right now. Her stomach must be in knots tight enough for her to hang herself with, which I'm guaranteeing you the anxiety is making her want to. And here you are, super mom, announcing all of this to the public. Great job. Honestly, well done. Fantastic. Rest easy tonight, Becca. You completely humiliated her, and not even in the privacy of your own home. You did it for the world to see. Here's a parenting tip. No matter how much you think you're helping your kid, if you publicly humiliate them, you are almost always just hindering them. Poor kid is probably going to grow up with parental PTSD. Another thing that strikes me about this is you're calling out all her friends and Snapchat followers and blaming them for everything you perceive wrong with your child's life. So I'm sure she'll grow up willing to take accountability for the things that she does. I mean, don't get me wrong. 
the 20 year old diddling your daughter, it's acceptable to call his ass out. Like I said, I'd also go a step further and call the police while you're at it. Your entire town isn't at fault for your child and their actions. I don't care how done with it you are. Your daughter is responsible for her own actions. Not to mention she's what, 16 you said? She's gonna do stupid shit. Trust me, I did plenty of stupid shit when I was 16. I was wrestling in playgrounds and filming jackass inspired videos. Everyone does stupid shit when they're young. You gotta, you gotta hope that they learn and develop from that and grow up to, you know, not continue to do stupid shit. You know what doesn't help someone developing? Teaching them that they're not at fault when they do something. Blaming everyone but the person at fault and making all of their sensitive information public. All those things, probably going to do a lot more to fuck up your kid than help them out. But, you know, I'm not Dr. Lipschitz or anything, so, you know, don't take my word for it. In fact, she's going to an all-girls home in Milton, so fuck each of you. So after she was done cursing out all these school kids, she then goes, Fuck you, my kid is going to an all-girls school. Yeah, sweetie, I'm sure that's gonna help. Because we all know that girls that get sent to old girls' schools always come out of it sweet and innocent angels. Oh no, wait, they almost never do. And trust me, when I was in high school, I went through an entire group of friends who all went to an old girls' school. I'm not saying there's a definite correlation there, but I don't think that isolating your daughter from boys is going to magically solve all her problems. Especially because your reaction probably is creating a whole lot more for her. So before I close things out, I want to clarify that when I talked about taking responsibility for your actions, I was referring to the girl's alleged drug use, and not the fact that she was seeing a 20-year-old man. But hopefully he will have to take responsibility for his actions in the court of law. Or in a public execution. I'll settle for one or the other. I'm pushing more toward two. So with that being said, I'm the Social Injustice Warrior V Infuso, and if you like the words that came out of my mouth hole and you too want to become a VTard, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's plenty more where this video came from. Follow me on Twitter because, hell, why not? It's not considered stalking if it's on the internet, am I right? And don't forget to join the Discord. I don't have anything catchy to add to that, but just, just join it. Just go, go do it. And if you have a free moment of time and a free dollar to spare, then head over to my Patreon, where for just one buck, you too could help keep this boat afloat. And if you don't have that dollar, but you do have a free moment of time, then hit the share button. It will help me out tremendously. Vitart, oh.